Hey guys, this is your Bible lesson for January 11th. Spurgeon is talking about Isaiah 58, 11. And the Lord shall guide thee continually. The Lord shall guide thee, not an angel, but Jehovah shall guide thee. He said he would not go through the wilderness before his people. An angel should go before them to lead them in the way. But Moses said, If thy presence go not with me, carry us not a pence. Christian, God has not left you in your earthly pilgrimage to an angel's guidance. He himself leads the van. You may not see the cloudy, fiery pillar, but Jehovah will never forsake you. Notice the word shall. The Lord shall guide thee. How certain this makes it. How sure it is that God will not forsake us. His precious shalls and wills are better than men's oaths. I will never leave thee nor forsake thee. Then observe the adverb continually. We are not merely to be guided sometimes, but we are to have a perpetual monitor, not occasionally to be left to our own understanding and so to wander, but we are continually to err. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. We are continually to hear the guiding voice of the great shepherd, and if we follow close at his heels, we shall not err, but be led by a right way to a city to dwell in. If you have to change your position in life. If you have to immigrate to distant shores, if it should happen that you are cast into poverty or uplifted suddenly into a more rep responsible position than the one you now occupy, if you are thrown among strangers or cast among foes, yet tremble not, for the Lord shall guide thee continually. There are no thy limits out of which you shall not be delivered if you live near to God, and your heart be kept warm with holy love. He goes not amiss, who goes in the company of God, like Enoch walk with God, and you cannot mistake your road. You have infallible wisdom to direct you, immutable love to comfort you, and eternal power to defend you. Jehovah, mark the word, Jehovah shall guide you continually. All right, for your question, I want you to write about a time you knew the Lord was guiding you. Thank you.